Anti-death penalty activists have gathered outside the federal prison for each of the executions in Terre Haute. News 10's Dominic Miranda is live outside the prison right now. That's where activists have gathered again tonight. He joins us now live with how things are looking. Plus, we hear how Montgomery's sister feels about the execution scheduled for tonight. That's right, Patrice Rondrell. I'm here at the intersection of Spring Hill Drive and Prairieton Road. And as you can see behind me, anti-death penalty activists have gathered here again. They gathered here for each of the executions in 2020 and here again for the first one of 2021. Now, it's important to note that throughout my time covering all of these executions, we have not come across someone who's been outspoken of advocating for the death penalty. We in News 10 got an interesting call from someone doing just that. A classmate of Bobby Joe Stinnett reached out to us at News 10. Stinnett, of course, was murdered by Lisa Montgomery in her Missouri home back in 2004, which is why Montgomery is facing federal execution. The high school classmate declined an interview but told us Lisa Montgomery deserves the death penalty for what she did. Lisa Montgomery's sister, Diane Mattingly, recently spoke to KCTV in Kansas City. She says she's pleading President Trump to understand that her sister is mentally ill and would be better off to spend life in prison. She is broken. She's mental illness. She has been sexually abused her whole life. Please commute this to life. That's what I'm asking as a sister. I'm begging you as a sister to commute it to life. Montgomery is just one of 55 women on death row in this country, and if her ex execution happens as scheduled today, she will be the first female federal inmate executed by the federal government in 67 years. Reporting live outside the federal prison, I'm Dominic Miranda, News 10.